OK, well, uh, would you like to talk about the advantages of living in a house? Yeah, living in a house. Um, I think uh, I think. Um, um, yeah, let me uh, say about my story. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, uh, my family have, uh, uh, have had, uh, have lived in apartment, but in um, the COVID nineteen uh, oh. spread, and um, and uh, my children only stay at home, at in 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 flats, and um, they can play and they can go out and do anything. So uh, my wife and me. Uh, decided to move out the apartment and uh, and live in a house oh. and when we live in a house i we um i i feel i feel better because um there are some uh, advantages yeah. for example yeah my children can go out and uh, play in the um, in the park or we have lakes park and yeah they they can they can uh, live in uh, near nature of course yeah yeah and i think atmosphere is better yeah of course i think so such a good idea to you know you yeah. move during the uh, coronavirus that, that so it's great decision I think that your wife and you made so I think yeah. that's great to live in a house of course living in a house is I think is really advantages so I think you know there are some things that you can mention you can talk about however living in apartment can have some advantages some disadvantages so let me uh, ask you about living in apartment let's talk about negative points living negative in apartments point. so what is the most important maybe issue or problem that you may face you may deal with when living in apartment yeah i think living in apartment um sometimes uh, Sometimes I feel uh, noise because uh, the, the neighbor may sometimes they make noise in um, yeah yeah when um, uh, especially uh, when uh, when we have a uh, young chills and yeah and they and and she easy to wake up when when noise around around her. Yeah, of course, yeah. of course. And, uh, yeah, and sometimes I feel it's a uh, a little bit small, and uh, we don't have space for uh, for life. Yeah, of course, yeah. of course, yeah. not enough maybe space. So yeah. and and I think the most important, as you mentioned, neighbors. So yeah. annoying neighbors, of course. <laughs> yeah. yeah. OK, how do you get around? How do you get around playing, for example, uh, your music when you live in apartments? Yeah. For example, for example, if you have party and of course yeah. you need to play music. So how do you get around playing music? Yeah, you know, uh, Vietnam. Uh, is a uh, uh, karaoke very uh, popular in Vietnam, and every family have uh, an, um, a karaoke, and they can sing a song everywhere. So I, so I think it's very nice. Yeah, and it is really a problem. I, I think if they can uh, play the music. Um, by uh, a famous singer, I think it's not a big problem. But but if they they are sing they they sing a, a song yeah, with karaoke, it's very a uh, problem because uh, yeah <laughs> yeah of course yeah. of course. So maybe it bothers it bothers yeah. you and the other people. So and uh, so tell me. Uh, 
how do you get around that? So deal with I want to know get around mean find a way of dealing with a problem. So just let me share my screen and write it on the board. It's not that it's a good uh, phrasal verb. Just let me write it on the board. So the first word, of course, it's not the word from your book, but it's good to know it. So get around. OK, get around means to find a way of dealing with a problem. Yeah. So for example, uh, let me make another example. For example, actually, you have a neighbor, actually, maybe one of the adjoining adjoining apartments. OK, let me say adjoining another word. So it's not bad to write. OK. Joining. OK, when we say adjoining, it means next door. Near mm -hmm. next to your apartment. So for example, so. Next to or near we mean near. OK, so for example, you have a neighbor, very noisy neighbor actually yeah. who lives in one of the adjoining apartments. OK, but every weekend, OK, mm. they hold a party. And, mm. you know, you so I want to know how do you deal with this problem? Of course, it can be really annoying. So and it can bother you. So. Mm. How do you deal with it? This type of people. Mm. Sorry, you 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 asking me? Yeah, of course. I asked you. So, for example, you have a actually neighbor. Yeah. Actually lives in adjoining apartment, and every weekend, every weekend they hold party. So yeah. it can be really annoying. It can bother you because of crowd noise, hustle and bustle. So I want to know how do you get around? How do you deal with this problem? Do you do anything? Oh. Or no, you say I do, don't do anything. Yeah. It's just I need to accept the condition. Yeah, we, we have a, an uh, an app, uh, an application for um, operation the uh, 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 building. So uh, we uh, I call to the center so the security go to and uh, read and um, resolve the problem yeah and uh, but uh, but sometimes I feel uh, I feel I uh, get hungry because uh, there are a lot of time they uh, they make noise yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. And you know, in some situation, I think, you know, they can drive us crazy. So it yeah. means uh, they can make us feel extremely irritated or annoyed. So yeah, yeah. drive, let me say something else, drive me crazy. It mm. means to make me Feel extremely irritated. That is annoyed. So yeah, mm. sometimes and sometimes we can't do anything about it. So it can be really annoying. Well, yeah. so uh, let's get started. So as you can guess, we're going to talk about neighbors, neighborhood, and some words okay the first word so i try to give you some other alternatives at work so, uh, your book so now let's get started with book to learn some words okay typical yeah. okay typical that is normal okay something that actually has the same characteristics maybe let me represent your culture characteristics so 
Okay, let me change the color of it. Okay, I don't know. I should choose <laughs> white or red. Okay, so typical. Okay, tell me about a typical, a typical maybe behavior, manner in your country. Maybe in your city, of course, I know that different area, different region, people in different areas, different region have different manners. So I want to know a different attitude. So I want to know a typical about uh, a typical maybe Vietnamese. So that you maybe give me some alternatives, some clues to know, for example, who is or how is a typical Vietnamese, you know, person. So I want to know. Mm. Yeah, typical. Um, similar with uh, uh, special. It's no, no, it's normal. So it's not special. Mm. So it's normal, for example. Common, normal. Mm. Yeah, for example, when we say uh, something typical, something regular, maybe something mm. normal. OK, it means being of the sort of kind that is expected as usual. So tell me about a usual, a normal, a typical Vietnamese. Mm. Mm. I think uh, I think the typical culture of Vietnamese may they may uh, talkative. Yeah. I I mean they they can they can talk to uh, to others people everywhere and yeah. they yeah. easy to to know and to to say about their story. Yeah. To each other. Yeah. Of course. Of course. It's, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, for when example, I, uh, yeah, when yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. When, when I uh, when I come back to my hometown or sometime I uh, go down the I, I uh, the market, I, I see a group of people they uh, they sit around and uh, say something together. Yeah. yeah, of course. Ah, got it. So <laughs> yeah, I got it. So yeah, different cultures, different people. So it's it's something like your common manner or something yeah. typical. OK, manner. Just you said something. You said when I come back, but you yeah. know, you need to pay attention mm. to the difference between come back mm and go back, they're different. Yeah. So they are different. So when we say uh, come back, you know, when we use it, okay, we wanna say that I return immediately to where I am. So I'm here, then I go somewhere and I come back here again. So mm. I want to say that I immediately return to where I am. OK, mm. but for the other place, for example, when you say go back, OK, it mm. means, you know, you go somewhere else. For example, mm. now I OK, OK, so now I live in another city. I go back. I'm not mm. there now. OK, so this is a difference between go back and come back. So you actually it's, it was better to use go back. It's yeah. not back. OK, well, yeah. I just want to um, to confirm. Uh, about it, about them and uh, come back when I want to say to a place very clear and uh, yeah, very clear. Yeah, actually, but, yeah, very yeah. clear. Somehow, just keep going and and go back. That mean I I will go to a place, but it's not um a specific a specific uh, place. 
So, of course, let me say, let me make it a bit simpler. They yeah. both means, they both means richer. So, yeah. But, yeah. but when we say come back, okay, it means to move actually toward the speaker or returns, okay, to this place. For example, now I'm here. Now I'm here. OK, yeah. then I will go to the market after mm -hmm. that. I I will come, come back, back here. So okay. my first point. But when I say go back, it means return to that place. Yeah. So for example. I live in, for example, this city now. OK, and yeah. Maybe in the future I go back to my hometown. I'm not there. OK, I'm not yeah. there. Just I will go back. OK, so it's something like there, another place. Get it? Yeah. yeah. OK, well. For example, now you are at your office. OK, and you when you go out, you will come back to your office because now you're there, but yeah example you can say that i will go back to for example i don't know my friend's house but now mm. you're not there okay so it's somewhere else okay yeah. and this one so we have another word that is communal communal public so yeah. the easiest one is public and we normally use public so it's normal to use it communal or public so yeah. tell me about the culture of using public, maybe facilities, public transport, public facilities in your country. Is it normal? Is it actually common to use public uh, facilities or public maybe transport in your country or no? Mm, yeah. Um, yeah, we, we have a uh, public transport station of uh, public uh, community house. Yeah, public community house. Uh, public uh, park yeah. where the people can go and uh, camping on play, play around of place. Yeah. So, so you have some public places the people can go and camp okay just you know when you say can go after can go if you want to add another verb can go play do so the second verb can't mm. be followed by ing because the first verb okay so we have modal can after can if you use if you list a few mm. words maybe more than one verb okay you need to use apply the same rule as the first one can go and play and eat okay or something like this or camp well yeah okay well and flat so you know that you know another word for apartments is flat so yeah. of course we normally say complex apartment including or containing different flats okay some flats okay yeah. And uh, well, so get on with. So this is a phrasal verb that's mm -hmm. good to use. It means get along, have yeah. a good relationship with someone. So when you get on with someone very well, it means you have a good relationship. OK, I want you to tell me maybe to talk about someone who you get on with very well and someone who you don't get on, I don't know, with very well. So tell me. Yeah, I, in my viewpoint, I think, I think I get on with most people. Yeah. Very good. And, uh, so you yeah. should be flexible person. Yeah, yeah, but that's, um, but if uh, if someone I don't want to, uh, I don't I don't like them. Yeah, I I think I I I advise to uh, to meet and avoid to talk to them. 
yeah, and, avoid and, being, yeah. avoid talking. Yeah, of course. Avoid yeah. talking is better. Avoid being, avoid talking. So yeah. just uh, there's a point here. Thank you for your answer. That was really good. Just let me say something. Uh, normally, uh, especially in advanced English, okay, when someone asks you a question using including verbs, okay, mm -hmm. you, it's better. I don't say definitely, okay, I'm not saying that, okay, it's a rule that you have to do. No, it's better to paraphrase the question. What is the meaning of paraphrasing? It means when I say get on, you answer with a synonym like get along so that you show your ability you know, I'm speaking yeah. out. Okay, I can use, I have a good vocabulary research. So it's something like enough words to say. So instead of get on, I say get along. Or, okay, yeah. I don't remember a synonym. I don't remember a synonym for get on or get along. So I can explain, for example, I say I normally try to, for example, make stable connections and have have good relationship with people. It means get on. OK, so yeah. you can explain and this makes your answer very perfect in advance. Well. So and virtually this is an adverb means almost so almost mm. and yeah. Uh, learning probably take place in virtually every activity in which we take part. So virtually is not the adverb that you can use instead of um, almost. So it's your choice. It's a bit formal. Almost is a bit informal. So for speaking, almost is OK. You can use it, but as well, you can use virtually. Mm -hmm. OK. Well, we have uh, a few words and a phrasal verb, and I want to ask you if you have any question or something related to these words. Yeah, I uh, I still remember the meaning uh, of them. Yeah, very good. So yeah. you remember, you still remember or, or, or can't remember? I, I, I remember. Yeah, great. That's great. So <laughs> it's very good. OK, well, and now uh, we have an idiom here. When in Rome, do as Romans do. So what it means, you can guess. You can guess. So it means when visiting a foreign land, follow the customs of those who live in it. So that's really important. If I travel to a country, if I visit a country, of course, I need to follow your custom because you live in there. So uh, there is another man. So I want to say I want to mention another maybe meaning of this idiom. It can also mean that when you are in an unfamiliar situation, it's, it's new, it's not familiar for you. You should follow the lead of those who know the ropes. You know, for example, okay, I know the rules, so just follow me so that you can get advantage, okay? So, mm -hmm. when in Rome, do, okay, what do you think about this? Do you agree or you think no? I am this person, so. I don't need to change. I don't need to follow the rules that the other people follow. So what do you think? Do you agree or no? I agree uh, with uh, the idea. Yeah. Because I think uh, when uh, we come to um, another place, yeah. where we have to, uh, I think culture so by some rule when the people come uh, conversation or discuss about about any anything. Yeah. So uh, so I think uh, the first thing we have to uh, follow the rule in uh, the local people uh, with with the peop local people and uh, I I think it's um so that we uh, we are respect about them and respect about their culture. 
Yeah, so we need to respect them. We don't say about, about is something extra, so we can remove it. So yeah. we respect them. We respect their culture as well. So we need to follow the rules that they follow. Yeah. yeah. So let me say something. Of course, I think because your country is beautiful, a uh, country uh, having lots of maybe tourist attractions, especially natural tourist yeah. attractions, some natures. Okay. So I want to ask you a question. Have you ever visited a tourist who had really uh, maybe odd, bizarre, uh, strange behavior? So is it why? Yeah. Why, for example, this person is doing in this way? Yeah, and, and can you explain for me about the estrogen behavior? I, yeah, I don't know that word. Odd. Odd or estrange. Estrange means unusual. Mm. Estrange or mm, odd means unusual. So. Mm. Have you ever visited someone, a oh, tourist, I mean, you know, a tourist mm -hmm. who had a very, I don't know, odd, unusual behavior and said, wow, what is it? So. Yeah, that's been uh, in the situation I am uh, uh, a tourist. tourist. No, no. Let me say, just let me, I wrote another word. So these words. A strange, odd, bizarre. They are synonyms that you can use as unusual, something that not usual, not common. So, for example, I ask you because uh, you, because of your country, of course, mm -hmm. you see, I think, many tourists in different yeah. cities, different places. So, some of them, maybe some of them, have different and unusual behavior comparing your culture i mean so which means you know have you ever visited someone like you know this you know who behaved in some strange ways have you ever visited mm. i uh, some sometime i uh, i am i uh, sometime i travel to um in the north of Vietnam, where the where the some ethics of Vietnam live, and uh, I I always always um, always to follow their rule and their behavior. Yeah. Be because I, I sometimes I feel I feel I I should to I should um respect them. Of course. And sometimes I I I feel I will get dangerous if yeah. I, if, I <laughs> no if I don't follow <laughs> their rule. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean, but my question was about the other people. For example, yeah. I am a tourist, okay, yeah. that visit your country. Maybe yeah. I have some unusual, I don't know, behaviors. Like, you know, for example, the way that you say hello and the way that I say hello, they're different. So yeah. you find it as, for example, as uh, maybe native people in Vietnam, you find it a bit unusual. I ask you if you had, you know, if you experienced this situation, this condition before. Mm, that's that's mean. I I am a, I am a, a native people. For example, so. in Vietnam, of course, you are a native person in, in Vietnam yeah. and I am a foreigner. OK, yeah. for example, yeah. me. OK. <coughs> I visit your country and I have some different manners. Yeah. For example, uh, in my country, let me say something. For example, a typical, if I want to, 
uh, talk about typical American manners, for example. In yeah. my country, physical touching when yeah. in a conversation usually make us uncomfortable. So it's, a, you know, it's, I think, a typical culture in my country. Now, yeah. someone else visit my country, maybe in actually those country, they don't have this rule. Okay, so, yeah. for example, they do this. So this can be found as unusual behavior. Say, wow, what are you doing? Don't. Okay, I ask you about this. If you had, actually, if you have experience yeah. This condition, someone who did something that yeah. was really unusual in mind. Yeah, I, ne I never, I never um, met uh, the situation yeah, because when I, when I met the forest uh, people, I, I, I feel the um, more, more of them, uh, more of them have a uh, polite behavior. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, the first thing we say hello together. Yeah, of course. Uh, say hello to each other. So after that, we uh, make hand, hand shots. Of course. Uh, yeah, shots, and, of course. And, uh, and we, we sit down and... Uh, yeah. yeah. And talk, uh, talk together. And, yeah. And, and, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't see, I didn't see any any problem and I I, I didn't find any issue. So and, so you, yeah. yeah yeah of course so you haven't you haven't been in the situation. So yeah, for yeah. example a tourist a tourist came to your country and yeah. did something that you found it very strange, unusual. So no. Okay, great. Yeah. Well, and now let's talk about the structure of the day. That is really easy structure, not really a complicated uh, structure. Now yeah. plus verb to be plus typical of again now. OK, look at these examples. For example, this painting is B is typical of his early work. Something yeah. like a sample of OK model and the idea of free healthcare is typical of for example marx lenin kind of works mm. and phil is very typical of vietnamese ah pho, i heard it you say pho. you don't say pho. you say pho. am i right yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah, I learned it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I learned it. Yeah, because you know I heard this name, so because yeah, yeah some people uh, yeah, told me F is very typical. Is very typical of Vietnamese yeah. food. So this yeah. is a structure that you can follow when you're going to talk about typicals. Okay. Yeah. So the first word now normally after that B is or are depending on the first noun after that typical of and the second typical of what okay may i ask you to give me an example to make an example and tell maybe tell me a typical of your country yeah mm, traffic jam is very typical in every morning yeah. In Hanoi. Okay, so uh, traffic jam is very typical of of Hanoi uh, uh, in the yeah. morning. So up, uh, so you add time expression at the end of your. Okay, yeah. so of yeah, very yeah. good. Yeah, of course, all the time. Uh, you know, uh, yeah. Have you ever been try uh, for? No, just I heard it. I don't know what it is, but my students, for example, when I ask them, okay, yeah. what is the best food? And they say, Fa. and the, you normally, I think, you know, I heard, of course, I'm not sure. I want yeah. to know uh, if you eat it in breakfast. I, 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 I'm, I'm not um, really, I don't really like um, pho. Yeah, sometimes I, I eat uh, it's uh, fast breakfast. Ah. Yeah, but 
but I see a lot of Vietnam, a lot of Vietnam people uh, love pho, and they can eat in. Uh, uh, they love and and they um they eat in uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. yeah. Of course, yeah. I heard about it. I heard about it, but no, I haven't tried it before. Maybe one day if I travel to your country, if I visit your country, you know, I would <laughs> try it. But now, no. So, uh, and there is, uh, let me give you, because this structure is really easy. Just let me say something about passive. Yeah. Uh, that is really good, usable structure, you know, passive voice, for example. Yeah. Is eaten or it's normally eaten okay mm. breakfast so you can say because you don't want to mention the subject who it no matter so mm. that is eaten is normally eaten in breakfast so or yes. so that's really good to use passive you know the structure that is object plus b depending mm. on the object so is or are and after that past participle of verb eaten so f is eaten is very good. So instead of saying people eat it breakfast, you can say it's eaten. It's normally eaten for breakfast. OK. Wow. Oh, your picture's frozen. Can you hear me? I can't. Ah, it's OK now. You know, yeah, of course. For a moment, can you hear me? I can't hear you because your picture's frozen. Uh, I think maybe it's due to per connection. Can you hear me? Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Ah, it's okay now. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can. Okay, very good. Well, so this is not the structure. More usable, I think. Passive is great structure. Okay, yeah. well. And uh, just so you know which is very typical. As you can see, let me say something. Let me show you him. So as you can see, we can add object pronoun after of. So if you want to add a person and you, if you want to add object OK, object pronoun. So of, for example, of I knew, of me, of him. OK, so after of, if you want to add a person, object pronoun. OK, and if you don't mm -hmm. want to mention the name, so you need to use object pronoun. So of him, of her. OK, so that's really important to pay attention to actually this. So after mm -hmm. of you need to use object pronoun okay if you don't want to use another word so you can add object pronoun okay so tell me about a very typical of you mm. Mm. i think uh yeah. Uh, I think yeah, people can uh, see me as um, uh, funny people. Ah, funny person. So it's being yeah, funny. 100%. Yeah. So yeah. being funny is very typical of you. Yeah. 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 Of course. Yeah. Very good. I think, I think so. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not so. <laughs> of course, of course you are. Yeah. When people think about you this way, of course you are. So yeah. being funny is really good. It makes people, you know, feel more comfortable with you. So yes. I think it's really good. OK, so please help me to watch video because as you know. Yeah. yeah. OK, yeah. Thank you. Mm. 
Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Let me. Okay. Miss Parson. Well, that's okay. I think. Well, and just let me share the screen again. Okay, I think this one. Okay. So, let's get started. Let's watch the video. Hi, I live in a block of flats and I know a few of my neighbours really well. We like similar things, so we socialise quite a lot. Today, I'm going to ask people about their neighbours. How well do you know your neighbours? Um, I know my neighbours quite well. I moved in a year ago and I live in the middle flat and it's a house that's broken into three flats. Um, the guys upstairs moved in a year ago as well and um, the guys downstairs have been there for a few years. But we all have a communal garden, um, so we get to use that space together. It varies enormously, one or two really quite well. Some very close, I don't even know what they look like. And that is very typical of this area. I live just around the corner from here, very typical of inner city, urban London. Uh, virtually not at all. Um, I've, uh, I live in a flat and I moved into the flat about uh, six months ago. Yeah, I know him quite well, but I don't... I, some I get on with and some I don't. Some I want to get on with and some I don't want to get on with. Um, not at all. <laughs> I've never even seen him. <laughs> um, no, I don't know him at all, quite honestly. What makes a good neighbour? A good neighbour is someone that you can trust, that you could leave your key with, that you could ask to water your plants or feed your cat. I think what makes a good neighbour is someone who looks out for you uh, and you look out for them as well. Knowing when to interfere and not to interfere, being friendly at the right times but not being intrusive. A good neighbour would be someone who's considerate, um, who always keeps in mind that they're li they do have neighbours, whether it be noise or trash, just keeping up their property, making it a nice place that people will want to come home to. Someone who you can trust and who doesn't cause you any grief. What about a bad neighbour? A bad neighbour is someone that forgets that you exist as well and it has loud music until 6am. Not respecting privacy, intruding, um, not understanding what your neighbour wants and not just in that sense but in the sense of not participating, not doing things when a neighbour needs help. Someone who is not considerate, who, whether it's a lot of noise or a lot of trash, doesn't upkeep their property. Um, who's not really friendly. Tell me about the best or worst neighbour you've ever had. Um, she was a lady who lived above me and she was very quiet, very nice. She would oftentimes come and kind of check on me, see if I'm okay. So we would kind of chit chat. So I got to know her pretty well, which was, was pretty nice. The worst neighbour I've ever had and lived next door to me uh, in the last house I was in uh, and he was just very noisy all the time, day, day and night. You were constantly, constantly aware of him. One night I was, um, by 8 o'clock, I heard a noise outside. I opened the windows and a loud voice said, get down, crouch down. And it was a, or clearly a policeman. Um, and I had to say crouch down. And my garden at the back, three policemen shot in and shot over the wall. And it turned out that I was living next to the number two in the main criminal gang in North London. And they were arrested and taken away. Well, okay. So let me share the book again. Okay, well, so we watched the weird together. Let's fill in these blanks. Okay, so uh, I know. So the first person said, I live in a block of flats and I know of my neighbors, really, really. 
I know um, a lot, a lot of. Uh, I know a few, you know, she said, I know a few of them, you know, very well. So it means, you know, I don't know them. So I know. And uh, you said, just, you know, you heard this word because this word is a good word. Mm. Considerate. So it's good to be. Some people are not considerate. It means mm. uh, when you are considerate, it means you are careful, you know, mm. not to harm or not to annoy people. So being considered is good, especially as a neighbor. So some people like socializing. Do you know the meaning of socializing? Yeah, socializing mean people who uh, who easy to connect and of easy course. to to uh, yeah. Of course, very good. So having the connection with people. Okay, we like things, so we socialize. Sorry. Okay, the next one, number four. So I'm reading this one. We like. Mm. Yeah, be because I I don't get I didn't catch up the the words from uh, her, so it had to finish. <laughs> right, yeah. I know. You know, as I told you before, it's better to have, you know, the text and the video at the same time. Yeah. Oh, we don't have, of course, it's hard to remember all the words. So, of yeah. course, you're right. So, um, uh, let's do something. So, let me say, when I'm sharing this screen, I want to know if you hear the audio and the voice of just, yeah. let's try it. Just give me a moment. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna play it again, just a moment. Okay, I want to know if you can hear it or no. Just wait a moment to play it again. Okay, can you hear? Hi, I live in a block of flats and can I know hear? Of my neighbors really well. Yeah. We like similar things, so we socialize so, quite a lot. Today, I'm going to ask you can see and neighbors. you can hear. How well do you know your neighbors? Um, I know my neighbors quite well. I moved in a year ago and I live in the middle flat and it's a house that's broken into three flats. Um, the guys upstairs moved in yeah. a year ago as well. And I, I um, think the guys downstairs. Have, have, I think yeah. yes, the, 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 the exercise ones only in the first interview of the yeah, the first interview and it's it's a two one three uh, sentences. Yeah, okay. So of course, so you need to listen carefully and you need to fill in the blanks. So, but as yeah. I told you, for doing this, you need to have the text and the audio at the same time. So it's yeah. really important to do this. So if you want to do, uh, so let me do something. I uh, just give me a moment. Okay, let's do this part together. Okay. Yeah. I think you remember this. So who doesn't get on with all of his neighbors? Mm, at at the. Of course you're right. Who shares a garden with the neighbors who live in the flats above and below? Hmm. Jay, Jen. I think Rosie, and I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. No, I'm. Uh, yeah, of course, James. Yeah, you said James. Yeah, yeah I remember, yeah, James. And who doesn't even know what some of his neighbors look like? Yeah, I'm not sure, but but I think Eddie, because because I feel see. Uh, he he don't uh, don't care about the the neighbor. Yeah, of course. Well, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, of course. You know, I feel like this, uh, but uh, but I think so. Let's check because we have answered. So for number four, James. Yeah, uh, so it was yeah. James. Yeah, and uh, tell me, who has never even seen her neighbors? So, Rosie. 
Rosie, no, Rosie had a good relationship with neighbors. You know, Rosie shared a garden with neighbors. So I and? think, yeah, the last one, Don. Don. Right? Uh, yeah, of course. And he moved into a flat about six months ago, but hardly knows her neighbors at all. I, uh, Jen. Jane, of course. Yeah, and who yeah. lives in a house which has divided into three flats? Uh, Jim? Uh, no, divided it because, you know, this Rosie, oh, because of this, he shares a garden with neighbors. So because actually uh, this house divided into three flats, so they share a garden. Okay, yeah. so Rosie, of course, you need to listen and watch this video again. So this can be yeah. your. Okay, do you have a favorite neighbor? So do you have a favorite neighbor? Mm, yeah, I I think uh, yes. Yeah. Because uh, when when I move out uh, to the countryside and um, and we live in a compound um, a compound place, so uh, the first in the first time we have only uh, ten uh, ten family move move yeah. move move there, and uh, we uh, I think we. Uh, more of uh, more of more of us um, uh, really like to uh, do uh, something uh, together. Yeah. Uh, so ten both. families at the same time. Ten families moved at the same time. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Hey, so that's great. Uh, that's really a good idea. So yeah. actually, you have some people to socialize to do something. Yeah, yes. very good. Yeah, so of course. Yeah, yeah, we and we we in the same uh, house and uh, my children and uh, their children in the same uh, uh, same house and um, yeah, we uh, we easy to uh, to have some party and some event together. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah. That's perfect. I yeah. think it's perfect. So whose idea? Whose idea yeah. was that? That was perfect. So you or your wife, that was perfect idea. We um we didn't know uh, know each other before we uh, move on here. Yeah, because I because know. when when I uh, when uh, I uh, my wife and I decided to move on to here, we um, we feel we feel that the place very good for my chill and uh, I think. I think uh, they they uh, they uh, they 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 um, also they also think uh, like uh, liars. Yeah, of course. And yeah. all you wanted, all you wanted, actually, was peace or a peace yeah. and call. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Well, okay. So. Um, so again, another session and time is over again. So we need to skip yeah. this topic. So we discuss this topic in detail. So if you have yeah. time, it's really good to watch the video again at home and try to make some notes. So it's really good and try to do it at home. And do you have any questions related to this one? Any issues? Mm, no, I don't. OK, and thank you so much. That was great talk with you and have a yeah. fruitful very great yeah. and brilliant week and see you next session yeah thank you and see you on next you're welcome time. goodbye goodbye yeah, goodbye goodbye